Uh, we will now move over to uh, the uh, first uh, session of, uh, of today, uh, which is about uh, the area that is regarded uh, by many as the solution for making companies uh, contribute to this shift towards sustainability. And as those of you who have uh, um, spoken with me about this before, you know that I am very concerned that a lot of reporting today is a, a compromise fix, a solution that makes those who um, uh, hope to see companies become more sustainable happy. Uh, it makes companies a bit unhappy because of the administrative burden, but uh, not too concerned because they don't really have to change anything. That's the, the uh, uh, negative aspect of it. And at the same time, uh, I think we all agree also that uh, accounting reporting done properly with proper assurance uh, or auditing of some kind is perhaps the most important tool to control and enforce uh, a new sustainable regime for, for companies. So I'm therefore very happy that we have such a great uh, panel of, of speakers to discuss these issues. Uh, with uh, uh, my colleague from Finland, Professor Jukka Mehonen, as, uh, as the first uh, speaker. Uh, and um, uh, you can come up here now, please. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, okay, good. That, that is all ready. And then we will move directly onwards from, uh, from Jukka's uh, presentation to the other, sp other presentations, and the speakers can take place at the panel table once you've done with your speech. Please go ahead, Joka. Thank you. Thank you, Beate. Is this working? Is, yes. All right. So, uh, uh, my presentation is, 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 is now, now some kind of uh, prologue for this session. So, a part of the Sustainable Companies project, uh, as uh, I told you yesterday by Tineke, when, when she told about uh, the, the, the groups and the cross-jurisdictional uh, uh, research we have made on groups. So, similar <clears throat> a cross-jurisdictional uh, survey or research based on, on the uh, over 20 mapping papers, uh, we have made uh, uh, in the project, so we have now, now made a cross-jurisdictional research on, on uh, reporting and assurance um, issues with Charlotte, uh, Charlotte Villiers. Charlotte will continue with integrated reporting after me, but now I present uh, this, our research. So accounting, auditing and reporting, supporting or obstructing the sustainable companies objective and results of cross-jurisdictional uh, cross analysis. So, as, uh, for, uh, as uh, for the whole sustainable companies project, also for us the starting point is uh, uh, internalizing externalities. So, uh, 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 sustainability cannot be uh, effectively achieved unless the objective is properly integrated. And this uh, overarching uh, um, uh, objective of sustainability is, is, is uh, uh, um, uh, integrated to all uh, our law, and in our case, all corporate law, and, and though to all internal affairs of companies. So we have discussed this uh, yesterday and, and we continue discussing it today. So in economic terms, externalities, so the uh, negative uh, environmental consequences of, of the company's production and business must be internalized. So this is starting point and this is start, starting point for us also. Uh, so, now our question, on, or, or in our paper, or in our research, the question is how accounting, reporting and auditing is responding to this challenge, so to uh, uh, internalizing uh, uh, externalities, so sustainability. So we focused in this, this research on reporting and auditing requirements uh, regarding the impact of corporate activities on the environment. 
uh, 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 Tineke uh, explained to you yesterday the nature of the cross-jurisdictional uh, research, uh, so I don't go to details. So we followed the same uh, pattern that Tineke explained yesterday. And similarly, the results, the paper is, is published by the Ga Cambridge University Press uh, book as a chapter. And unfortunately, due to the uh, copyright reasons, we were not able to, to uh, as, uh, 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 publish publish in the in the in the website uh, the report itself, so there is only abstract. But in the book you can find it. Uh, so as uh, Tineke uh, Tine explained, so over so uh, let's uh, a magnificent work have been done by the project members. In the, in the several, several uh, uh, jurisdictions that were covered in the mapping paper. So over, over 20 jurisdictions from Africa, America, Asia, and Oceania are covered, and our research, our cross-jurisdictional research is based on those mapping papers, and of course cross-checked by the authors of the uh, mapping papers. So if there are any faults, they are strictly hours, but hopefully not. And the theoretical basis, as Beate, Beate emphasized already, the theoretical basis is that, that, that it is important to look what is the role of, uh, of, of uh, reporting and assurance, and especially the people behind them. So those people who formulate the standards for reporting and assurance, and who do the job, so accountants and, uh, and auditors, how their role, uh, 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 how they see and, and what, what are their role in, in our market economy, let's say capitalism. Uh, so the, report, the role of reporting, it's, it is not only, only reflecting uh, a reality, but uh, through reporting we also construct reality. So this is the, I mean, the, the basic nature of, 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 of reporting. Reporting is a powerful tool for either to, to construct uh, uh, reality for the future or, or creating obstacles uh, for the fu future. Uh, so, uh, when we looked at uh, all the, jury, uh, all the, the jurisdictions um, in question, so I am not going now in details, so many of those issues we have, co we have covered, the, uh, the role of international financial reporting standards, the role of different voluntary uh, uh, standards and standard setters, they are discussed by, by the following speakers. So, but the, the overarching uh, uh, result is there is a strong and well-established corporate financial accounting culture all over the world. So, uh, modern account, financial accounting, it is approximately 500 years old. And, and uh, through, let's say, especially through uh, to, to international financial reporting standards and also the convergence with them and the United States uh, uh, generally accepted accounting principles, a well-established culture has been, has been made and is followed. Uh, uh, as far as, 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 as uh, non-financial reporting is concerned, situation is not uh, so good. So uh, there is a, so the, what is what uh, there is a various uh, uh, there is a, there are several several voluntary standards that are followed generally, but they are competing with each other, and they are followed more or less uh, uh, in 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 the jurisdictions. Um, some jurisdictions are more and appear to be more advanced than others in environmental and sustainable accounting. There are very very promising examples from. South Africa, uh, men mentioned already, also Norway, Denmark, Spain, uh, Germany, uh, among several other jurisdictions. They are good examples, but what is the problem? They are not a unified, neither European nor uh, co global, global view of, of, uh, unima uh, of, of uh, common standards as far as reporting and assurance of those reports is concerned. Good job is done. Oh, the OECD guidelines, one example, and major example, and others also, but uh, 
uh, uh, but not a uh, unified uh, uh, um, understanding. Um, um, uh, so, uh, so, so, uh, and other, other side also, Beate, Beate mentioned about the problems of, of reporting, report, uh, there must be also, uh, let's say, negative sides of, of in, in, in reporting, so one is recognition of the potential, potential relevance of accounting to improve environmental performance might indicate that accounting and reporting could, be, could improve sustainable corporate behavior, these mechanisms may also hinder such improvements. So there are several general problems now. And, and these problems, we have discussed this in detail, and these, discuss, these are also discussed, I believe, today. So the major problems we find are, firstly, the lack of clear definitions of core concepts in, in reporting. What what, on, on what concepts, on what conventions reporting is based. Uh, reporting is always based on conventions, but here, what conventions we are basing uh, the, the uh, non-financial uh, inf uh, information. So that is one uh, of the first problem. So, uh, and based on this, and based on, 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 the, uh, on this variety, thank you, variety of uh, several uh, standards, so there's lack of comparability and consistency, between them, there are vagueness, vagueness of key uh, non-financial performance indicators, so it is one example of these problems, and accounting, what is most important, accounting techniques for uh, non-financial issues are still very uh, early and, and rather primitive developments, uh, developmental stage based on, I mean, compared to conventional financial reporting. So, what are our tentative uh, suggestions to solve these problems? Firstly, we emphasize the role of accountants and auditors and their professional bodies who dev have developed financial accounting to develop also non-financial accounting, both on national and international uh, 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 stage. Best practices from various jurisdictions mentioned should be, should be uh, uh, scrutinized and, and, uh, and used. It is essential that corporate decision making is based on very ver verifiable reporting and so to achieve sustainable companies is, it is essential to emphasize the role of reporting. That is basis for corporate governance. And one example of this development and ideas to, uh, to for, uh, for the way forward is integrated reporting and Charlotte will present that after me. Thank you.